Hi guys! Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different this time and thought that it might be fun to do a little book recommendation section um, on video rather than in the newsletter or on the blog like I usually do. So I've got three books that I've recently read. I think I mentioned one of them in the last newsletter in January, but um, the first one, which is by an author that I've read before, but I have not read this particular, actually I'm not really sure if this is a series or if it's going to be a standalone, but the author's name is Charles Todd, and that's actually a pseudonym, I believe, for a mother-son team, writing team, and this book is called The Murder Stone, and um, it's set just, I think it's at the very end of World War I in England, so the time period and the location is something that I really enjoy reading about already. Um, and the story was good. It was, um, it followed a woman named Francesca Hatton and uh, her grandfather passes away in the beginning and then um, all these things start to cause her to question whether or not she really knew him the way that she thought she did if he was leading this secret life um, as all these people start coming out of the woodwork. So it was really good. It took me a long time. <laughs> I don't know why it took quite so long, but um, yeah, it, it took me a while. I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit embarrassed how long it took me, but I don't read as fast as I used to. When I was younger, I could plow through like two or three books a week was not unheard of. And now I'm just so much slower than I used to be, probably because I don't have quite as much free time. Um, the second book that I actually received as a birthday gift was something that was a little outside my norm. It was more of a thriller type. Um, it, I don't know, it reminded me a little bit of like a Dan Brown type, maybe Steve Barry, um, Barry-esque type book. But I'm not going to tell you the name or the author because I didn't finish it. And I'm actually hiding it in this newspaper because I didn't want to give a poor review. Um, it's not that it was a bad book. The writing was very, very good. I thought the writer really had a strong style and I, it was very engaging. The first, uh, I'd say the first quarter really drew me in. I felt really excited and like couldn't wait to have my reading time again. But then it just, for me, it totally blew up. Like I couldn't keep track of anything. It got so confusing. There was all these underground uh, groups and I had a hard time keeping track of who was who. And then in addition to that, there were all these sects that were going back like, I think it was like 300 years. And so naming the people from different sects and I couldn't figure out which one was the good the good group and which one came from the bad group. And so anyway, it just got really confusing and I normally will not go to like the three quarter point of a book and not finish it, but I did with this one because I just, I kept thinking like around the halfway mark, I was thinking, well, probably I'm just, um, you know, this part's going to pass and then it's going to slow down and she'll explain a little bit more, but it, it, instead it, it felt like it got worse and worse and it got more and more confusing the further on I went. So... And also, I don't know why, but I just was not um, attaching to the characters at all. Like, I know I should have felt sympathy for the main character, but I really didn't care what happened to her. <laughs> so, so needless to say, I did not finish this one. However, after that um, bit of a letdown, I really wanted to pick something good. So I was tempted to go back to an author that I've read before, um, because that's generally a good way, right, to um, to make sure that you pick a book that you're going to like if you stick with an author that you've read. However, I also received this book for my birthday, and I'm realizing that my titles are all backwards on here. Well, that's okay. I'm going to tell you what it is. So this is called Mr. Motley Gets His Man, and it's by Ellen Seltz. 
and this is a book that takes place in the 20s, like the Roaring Twenties, and is also set in England. And it's very, very, very good. I'm really, really enjoying this. This is a time period that I don't read a lot. I don't know why. I like the 20s. Um, I love the clothes, especially. But I just, I haven't read a lot from that time period, other than Great Gatsby and those kind of things. Um, but yeah, I was so pleasantly surprised and by how much I really liked this book and it's really humorous the author does a fantastic job um, she's got some great one-liners but more than one-liners she's got I don't know how to explain it but the whole book so far has really read like a screenplay which makes sense because I believe she used to be an actor and or screenplay writer so that definitely comes across in the in the book and it's like a perfect pace it's quick but it's not so fast that I feel like I'm running to try to catch up mentally um and it's just really really engaging really well written very I'd say the dialogue is the best that I've read in a long long time the dialogue is so natural and um it's just very good <laughs> I don't know what else I can say about it except that you should read it too. So I will probably, I'll try to put in the notes section um, a, a link to her website and also the Charles Todd website if I think of it. But if not, check my blog which is www.jpshoquette.net and Choquette is spelled C-H-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And I do have a link in, in the blog to... Um, to this book and also I think I also have one to the murder stone as well so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed these reviews or I call them more book recommendations and I'd love to hear about what you're reading and um yeah feel free to leave a note for me in the comments or get in touch via the website or Facebook and I'll be back in a while after I've read some new stuff to uh, share my next recommendations with you